Hello everybody, welcome to today's Morning Maths Challenge. It's Monday the 20th of April. So to warm up, I wonder if you can finish off these sequences. We've got some blank spaces and some numbers here. You need to work out which numbers go in the blank spaces. So I'll give you a chance to do that now. We've got one sequence, two sequences, and a tr special challenge one if you fancy it. So you need to do these two, and then this one if you want to. Pause the video here and see how you get on. Okay, so let's look at this first sequence here. We've got something, something, 13, 14, 15. So we're counting up here in ones, you're right. Oh, in ones, add one each time, you're right, adding one. So, this way, we're going to be taking away one, aren't we, to find out what number comes before 13. So we need to take away one to find out what number's coming before. So we've got 13, before 13 comes 12, well done. And what's the number before 12? 11, well done. So let's count up and see. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Now we're going this way, so we're going up still. 15, 16, well done. What's next? 17, yep. Yeah. 18, are we right? Yes, because we've got two, 19. So this sequence was counting up in ones, you're right. What about this next sequence here? 10, eight, something, something, two, zero. Hmm. Now this time the numbers are getting smaller, you're right, so we're taking away, and we're taking away how many? Ten, nine, eight, two, well done, we're taking away two. So eight, take away two is going to be six. Remember, you can put eight on your head and take away two with your fingers if you want to. Let's try that with the next one so we can find out what number comes here. Let's put six on our foreheads, six, and we're gonna take away two, six, five, four, well done. So we're counting back in twos, go. 10, eight, six, four, two, zero. Well done, tick or check. And the last one was a really tricky challenge. Something, 15, 20, 25. Hmm, so is my number getting bigger or smaller? It's getting bigger, isn't it? I'm adding on. I'm adding on how many? 25. I'm adding on five each time. Well done. So, what number comes before 15 when we're counting in fives? 10, you're right. We had to take away five that time to find out what the number before was. 10, 15, 20, 25. 30, 35, well done. What's my very last number? 35, adding on ten, five, sorry, 40. Well done. Tick or fix. Okay, here is our main math challenge for the morning. There are four questions and we're finding fractions this week. What's that fraction there? One out of two parts or a half. So we're finding a half of 12 and then a half of 20. What's this fraction here? One out of four equal parts or one quarter of 12, one quarter of eight. Now you can have a go or if you're not sure how to do it, you've forgotten, that's okay. You can carry on watching and we'll do the first one together and then you can have a go yourself. So it's up to you. Okay, let's do this first question together. A half of 12. So we're trying to find one equal part, aren't we? One equal part. 
and we're trying to find one part out of how many parts? Yeah, we've got two parts all together, haven't we? So this line here means out of. One out of two equal parts. So I'm going to split my 12 into two equal parts. One and two. Let's share 12 cubes between two people. Go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Good sharing, everybody. How many parts do we want to count up? Yeah, just one. So one, two, three, four, five, six. There are six in here. Let's just check that they're the same. One, two, three, four, five, six. There are six in there. So a half of twelve equals six. Well done. A half of twelve equals six. Tick or fix. Now you can pause the video here and have a go at question two on your own or we can do it together again. It's up to you. Okay, one half of twenty or one part out of two parts. So we're going to share my twenty between two equal parts, well done, just like we did before. One, two, can you share out your 20 cubes? Go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. You see how I did it evenly? Well done. How many parts do I want to count up? One part. Go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten for me. How many for you? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten. So it's equal. A half of twenty equals ten. Well done. And remember, a half is always the same on both sides, isn't it? the same as dividing by 2. We could also say 20 divided by or shared with 2 equals 10, couldn't we? It's the same. Okay, now we're looking at a different fraction this time. 1 quarter or 1 out of 4 equal parts. So, how many parts have I got in total? Four, so I'm going to share with four people. One, two, three, four. I'm going to share my total number out equally between my four friends. Go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12. I'm going to stop now because I've got to my total of 12. Now, how many parts do I want to use or to count up? Yeah, that's it. I want to know how many one part or one person is going to get. So, one, two, three in this one. If I want to check, I can just count the others and make sure that they're the same as this one. Brilliant. So one quarter of 12 is three. One out of four equal parts. Tick or check. That's right, four equal parts. Let's share out our total equally between four. Here we are. How many is there in one of my groups? One, two, well done. Have they all got two? Yes, they do. So one quarter of eight is two, well done. Tick or check. Come back tomorrow for some more practicing 
finding fractions of numbers. Well done.